Jede Herr kein Wort, das Spars und Schau, jede BBC Alpe, ein Taschkig und Nacht. Ich hier der Macher ga, ihr Kurs und Jede Nacht, der Kuchper League und SWP, Lagers Aper, Game of Haroing Celtic, ein Kuchs Falcher, ein Rangers Manager, und ein Skipper Celtic, Elena, Sidiku, ein Chinas Day, ein Schischen Kimmerechki, Jan Schau Nacht, jede BBC Alpe. Falter of a cart and gore game, the Heichenock and show eight BBC Alpha as Maravamia Gra, Upper Game, a Roaring Celtic, a Cliche Rangers, Agas Aganian, a Droch He Chags, a Schnack, a Hulushinilla, Hide with Dol Tronajakang show, Hagay making Edenock, Agas a Farke, Edmohulu, a Kayat and the Jail or two. Agas a Colloding and Ock, Torsula the game, has Suzanne Lappin. Suzanne, thanks so much for joining us as always on BBC Alpha and well, what a match we have here tonight. The first of two semi finals in the Sky Sports Cup, Celtic up against Rangers. What are your pre-match thoughts? Yeah, it doesn't get any bigger than that, does it? Um, you know, two teams in, in great form, two rivals. You know, we've got a new manager's first game tonight and we've got another manager in, in Joe Porter who hasn't put a foot wrong all season. So I think we're in for a, a great game and a, and a tough contest. Let's remind ourselves how Celtic got to the semi-final stage. They're, of course, against one of their title rivals here tonight in Rangers. They've already knocked out one of their title rivals in this competition already, Glasgow City, and it was a good 3-0 win back in November. Yeah, it was a great game for, for Celtic. I thought they were really comfortable in, in that game. And, you know, you have to be when you're, you're playing one of your biggest rivals. You know, they, they had everything that night. Um, you know, three great goals. And, you know, that's what you need. You need to beat the best teams to, to go on a cup run. And, you know, they need to do the same again tonight because Rangers are going to be tough opposition for them. And Celtic, of course, as you mentioned, they've got a new manager in the dugout tonight. It's Elena Sadiku's first match in charge. But we must remember Celtic have the same group of players that played Glasgow City back in November. So they are still a very good, op uh, they are still a very good team. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a great side, particularly in cup competitions. You know, I think that's been Celtic's strength over the years. I think their, their strength as well is in the, the unity of the group that, that Fran built. And as you say, that core's still there. You know, Elena spoke during the week about not changing too much and she'll be looking for the, the leaders in her team to, to go out and put in a performance. Looking then at Rangers, the away team tonight, and uh, there's nowhere else to start but Jane Ross back with a bang at the weekend. She started against Dundee United and five goals. Suzanne, what can you say? Yeah, I mean, firstly, I'm, I'm delighted for Jane personally. Um, I know it was a, a bad injury she had and it was a, a long road back to, the, back to the pitch. You know, I'm not surprised to see her do that. You know, I was a teammate of, of Jane's for many years. She's got such a, a good goal scoring instinct. You know, I think now as well, she's matured. She's now one of the older players and, and you can see how well she, she leads the team on the pitch um, and also off the pitch as well. You know, she's a role model for, for the younger players in that team. And, you know, I think if, if Rangers are to get the victory here tonight, I'm sure Jane Ross will, will have a say in that. Do you think, given the likes of Jane Ross is back in this Rangers side, given Rangers beat Celtic here back in October, are, are Rangers coming into this as a slight favourites? It's hard, it's hard to say, you know, when it's, um, you know, such a, a tough rivalry be between the two sides. You know, I think what it is tonight is, yes, it's a, a semi-final for a cup, but it's also a chance for both teams to, to put down a marker for this second half of the season. You want to beat your biggest rivals in, in any game. Um, you know, I think both teams come into it in really good form and it, it's a, a real tough one to call. Let's hear from the managers now. I guess well, a fatig orang ula klingen van a manager ud. I Celtic Elena Sadika will huidisha fachkele alko Henley arnja kades. I guess kuchok Joe Potter I Rangers. Elena, welcome to BBC Alpa. Uh, it's been a busy week for you. Um, what a game to start though against your biggest rivals with the chance of getting to the to the final of a national cup competition. No, it, it feels great to start big. Uh, obviously, I've been excited the whole day. Uh, I just feel, I just feel thrilled to to let like let it start. So I'm very excited. You've only had a couple of days with the players. What have you been able to do? Are you able to change shape or, or change the way they'll approach this game tonight? Obviously, you'll see the game starts very soon, so you'll see what I've changed and what I've not. So I'll give you that answer. <laughs> We shall see. But uh, you've, you've said this is the final almost like before the final. So is that the message to the to the players tonight? Obviously, like, it's a final because if we don't win, we'll go out. Um, then, obviously, next game, if we reach the final, that's going to be the real final. But I think that's the mindset you need to have. You'll know that the Rangers won the, the league game earlier in the season. What have you been saying to the players to try and change their mindset so that they get the right, right results from a Celtic point of view tonight? 
I mean, obviously, Rangers is three ahead of us in the league. Uh, they won the last game, but after seeing seeing what I've seen in training, what I've seen in videos, uh, I feel like we have potential to beat Rangers tonight. Joe, the focus has been on the other side of town this week with the new manager coming in at Celtic, but I'm assuming that suits you fine because you just get on with your business as normal. Yeah, it's really good for us to just concentrate on ourselves. Um, you know, that's really out of our control what they do as... As we said, it's a, it's a very late change for them and who knows if they're going to change much or continue doing what they've been doing. So it's a really good chance for us to focus on ourselves and, and continue with our good form. You've picked up at the start of the new year the way you finished last, 22 goals in the last two games. You're coming into this game very with a lot of confidence. Yeah, that's something we've got to continue. Um, we know tonight's going to be tough. Coming into an old firm semi-final is never going to be easy. We know they're going to be up for it as well. So, you know, we've got to make sure that we're confident. We've got to take take heed from the last few games and, and know that we've been in fine form in front of goal, um, not conceding many either. So that's a real plus for us as well. And we know we've just got to bring it all together tonight. number of changes from the game against United. Obviously, Jane Ross keeps her place having scored five goals. Must be great to have her back, such a, a big game player and a great finisher. Yeah, I think that's the big thing for us is that she's such a big game player. You know, she's been there, done it, got the T-shirt many, many times before. So, you know, coming off the back of a five-goal game, it, it, she's in, she's banging form and she's got massive confidence. So, you know, it would be silly of me not to use that tonight. Shingaif Mahana manager in Elena Sadiku Agus and Norshin Joe Potter Agus well a G shock at quite a dirt this game shot knock. Suzanne Elena not giving too much away about the sort of style she's going to be implementing here tonight. Do you expect her to to change too much given the the magnitude of this game? Um, I think it'll be difficult. You know, she only started in the the job on Monday. You know, she's only been working with the players for for five days. So, you know, I think as I said before, I think she'll put her trust in the the background team and the, the players that are there and, you know, the strength that they've built over the years, you know, she'll certainly put her stamp on it, you know, as the, as the weeks go on, but I think she'll be not changing too much too soon. She's, of course, replacing Fran Alonso, who brought quite a bit of success to Celtic as well. Just a word on his legacy as well. Listen, you know, I loved watching Fran um, from the sidelines as a coach. I think he brought so much passion and, and hunger to the to the women's game. You know, he had a real connection with the fans here as well. And, you know, there was a real team spirit at, at Celtic under his, you know, management. I think he's a, a huge loss, loss to the Scottish game. But, you know, I'm sure he's watching and he'll be wanting, you know, his team to continue on their, their journey. Let's, let's see what Elena brings to the Celtic team. Ach, eh, adras the klinge sing, vorn jach hadde, sit farwil sing, adol adras de bine skippie en a chine mache gerstars me sin, a nu look at hen, a look o henli. Morgen, thank you, wien kelt, I guess, and a skippie en tjoch, a chine mache, van a paad geut shechat, eh, de goofbe, goofbe, a league, I guess the duo is high Rangers, the Dras, the duo is a Celtic, a Fiaching, the Urs Wuppe, Masuringai, I guess Caitlin Hayes, Chinamacha Kijedig, Che Ha, for Trich Gefein Tur, listen, Gemmich and Mora, Shot, Futurisha, Jeffrey, and all noch, be look Taikak Celtic, a Dorcas, Gerishin Hakras, be look Taikak Rangers, China Shona, soon Ma Kuchuk, Kassan, the Viklichma, Hata de Grochi, and with Celtic. But how the days that it's a league, I guess, can it do? Get a yes and stock as college here. The game's a winning can all get. Can you allow my game? I guess, be a jerk a crocker get co he can bar like a me on the smooth and I guess, can you see on the right to the sheer two cent game? Can we get a better the da skip a show at the coaching leg and Nur Ga at the week when and machine shin ho fast sad a skip a show that we. Had a shin a play in the Kimmy Yedig. Sean is skippy in my heart, and you lach unar who's the skipper Celtic when a skipper in your grand head Montrose, Nuin Cunyoni and the group in Halapa, Celia Barclay, and it's there to cool Terry Burchill, the Tuchum, when a bingy is on Celtic. I guess it's on Rangers. Kate Arkins, the skipper, Akis, and the skipper who could draw you, give a shin in D United. Rogan H. and it's there, Lizzie Arnott, Mitchell Rowe, Mianna Pathke, I guess Rio Hardy, I can now. And Bell, Mia McCauley, Sarah Ewan, so Stuart McCleary, Tushan Hanapengi, Faraville, Olivia McLaughlin, and Hanakidias at Boston Villa, Jackins, Kuchuk. I guess I pick an echt three, I can you show. And the van is on Celtic, it's on Balkosh and Halapa, Elena Sadiku, here at Vanager Boron, I like skip in a ban at Celtic. I guess here at Tourus, I guess Boron, I can't be a skill, a dark skip, a dollar stack. Good Derby. Joe Potter, manager at Rangers, if you know, fear that. 
Celtic have started well in these games the past couple of games but Rangers have gone on to win them so it'll be interesting to see how, how both teams go about this game tonight yeah, as I said at the, the top of the programme, um, you know, I think it'll be a real tough game, you know, two teams in, in really good form, you know, and two teams desperate to, to make a cup final and really put a marker down for the, the business end of the season as well. Amy Gallagher at the Lachud, Yem Kuto, Yen Pathke. John Murdoch, Chuch Tetsu. Kelly Clark, Caitlin Hayes, Sidiku, and then you move to the Kuhn and Tabli in the Kale, the Askeum Academy at Everton. I've been a coach here, so I'm sure. Blina, the magic machine, Dan Burke, Agassou, and you'll get the V. Cup of the Eastern Assassin for Everton, but I've been a coach of Cup of Comedy, Arsenal, and the Shakut Shakas and Jonas Eideval. Chanel, the Skilior, I've been a coach of the Shakas here, Top of War, I've been Rangers. Kathy Hill, Rangers that New Zealand. and Loon Blech, that was in the Machel, the Skipplach, and it was from the corner to the back of the half, and it was Shane and Kut Kutchemora. Here's the McLean and Chim Toyn. Here's the Lichy de Gele, Doherty, Suez Alayne. And this is the Chim Toyn. I just mean to say that the Czech Republic is a Rangers. He's a very good player. 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 Craig, fine, he's a very good player. He's a very good player. Rangers put this to shock at that. Jane was here to tell you I can hear it. I guess I put in you. She's not going to be able to box them out of a Kiri. Let's see, Doherty. I've got the Mark Goodish for Clark. He's on the Hakuna. I guess. I think that is in Celtic, but this is an early indication there that the new coach wants them to play it out from the back. And sometimes, if you're not accurate with the passes, it can work against you. Yeah, um, you know, I've seen Celtic, you know, doing that in, at the weekend as well against Montrose. But as you say, you know, you've got to be precise with your passes. You know, you've got to make the angles and, and find the pass. Well, I'm going to have to out of the issue. Rachel Rowe, I caught him with all the books there. 
Is uh, the issue of the trash into Celtic? Now, who's going to be Gal Cruz and Sigan Akihu? Paul Doherty, Suez Alina, Anderson Rio Harding, Suez Megira Hachamachast, and all the Machadish is Rakif Akas Hardy, Megasamach and Divao. Barkley, look at the Frangach, Chinestig and Skipper and Och. Jimmy Lumar, who you had, who chewed at the Yano. Because she is a Vienna path kit, he was Kavanagh, Falaf Ginyara, Aina Falap, Shul Ro, Jeno, Ungi, and the other books up, Muri Bowline, Troyan Katran, Isha Koramak, Monglu, Nikadashina, Christu, Gallagher, Makanya, Shiligadash, a Vienna path kit. He's going to do the pass of a Shina Katranic on Natalie Rossach. Chili Baulichia. He's a Fikir Gurditch for Barclay. Can you fast get it? Amy Lopa, the Yenu Hanish and the Stavia and the Path Gip. Can you mark find a fellow for Lizzie Arna to do that? Just the last four pitching game, Mark Hatzelik, Celtic, four for the duel. I guess the Chelsea corner. Just seen a thing in me and the path goes on Rangers. The Galicia to Makanyev, Morgan Hay, Mitchell Roll. I guess Lizzie Arnott pushed it to us. Let's go now. Kathy Hill. I skip it. Karen Ford. Now he's touching again. But who will do? Just McLean. So then you should have passed him off the try. Actually, Ross could start there now, but I guess it's just caught him. A partido. The goal she has to lay the issues on Celtic. The detail. I guess. So we're going to get a chance for Tulkia Rangers to get a team to make it easy. We've got the team. Marge Wojpa. And we're going to get a Suez Salina. It's just in the Rashko. We're going to get a team. We've got the Rashko. Partido. And we shall stay. 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 Open first seven minutes or so, is that? Yeah, it is. You know, Rangers probably as expected, controlling most of the, the possession, but you know, Celtic showing their, their strength with their, their counter attack, particularly through Partido, who you know likes to run the channels. And, and, and this is one problems. of their particular strength from set pieces. Yeah, when Partido was down in the corner before, you could see that she was trying to win a corner for a team. I think they know. You know how strong they are at set pieces with the likes of Clark, Craig, and and Hayes going up. You know, so Rangers will need to defend this well. And Gallagher took a little bit of stay. I guess well, Ashke there. So now the horse now the Hilly Gate had a bit. I guess game with Cathy Hill. I know fell up. That are up. Just a push you. We can kill Neil Lee Hardy. And she had a cabinet, she had a lion, a cunny, a very devout, could have really macht. She had Lich Horam, you know, game, a golf go, go Celtic, let's see the provision. That's Mishnah, the city, could have a devout.
Tido, Stegen and Vienko Ross. As Kavanagh has a good mark, a good Craig, a good pick and room. As Vinay Chase, a good dash and Vienk, a good skin to the head. The Hinek, the Tido Mark, shouldn't have come out of the day. The Val, this child got a mark at that. So Lichard and Mavon won it. Suvdi. That's in the fall of Kelly Clark. Let's not be a target. I guess Kathy Hill. The fall. Tido Vaughn, the end of the ship, oh, who can see us Waris, Caramela, I could hear him get a Caitlin Hayes, a gal shot, but a Patrick with the swing and Kibisha, the famous this of Oxa. Oh, Lord, the Isha had a wash, get this in. Strange is that yeah. Caitlin Hayes took that. You'd expect her to be in the box. I yeah, have no idea, um, you know, what they were what they were trying there. You know, particularly the area that the Caitlin's put the ball into. It's the area you expect her her to be. Sheena Gagal. Okay, get Sheena the cool look. Ross, Nash got Craig. And you go for Hook, Bidash. Clark, I guess Kavanagh. You match your Shane in the fall of our back. Here too, I would have gone through. Shane through and Kuchar for Partido, Jadash. McClay. I get Dr. Dianne Sewers, got Jane Ross. Jenna Matt, who might have stayed? Fashke Lina, I guess. I count the sun sewer vape. We took food of Sav. First, if you can be tuned like a follow of me in a pack, Drach, the Hallishin Bokavana, got to dash the Rangers. Rogan Hake, I hear he tried the two shot. The tag, Parson Gohill, the Doshach. Norse in the bow, and Sacha Suez got Rachel Rowe, Gimmerach, Baulisha, I guess, Kelsey Doherty, and we get that up, and finally get Rachel Rowe, Suzanne has, has been prominent in the early stages. She seems to be finding that gap between midfield and the strikers for Rangers. Yeah, I think Rachel's, you know, made a, a great impact to, to Scottish football since she's come in. You know, that run there, that's what she's been doing all season, to be honest, and, and Cathy Hill picks her out. I think she'll be disappointed, though, with her final ball when she had, you know, a number of options at the, the back post. Tito, here's here to go to the control. I'm going to go to the last match. I'm going to go to the last match. I'm going to go to the last match. With Chloe Craig, I guess it is. I'm going to go to Rachel Rowe. Drach fast whoop is an ocean, cool with a bullet in it. Shane Coward to dash, Rangers to the east. Not this year, they're asked again. Shane Blue, Mianic Brogan Hay, Paul Weiner Ash. Both teams so far, this is Anne guilty of making basic passing errors, giving the ball up when they're not under pressure. Yeah, yeah, maybe sometimes as well, you know, overplaying it, particularly in that, you know, centre of the field area, um, you know, move the ball a bit quicker, you know, as we touched on there, the, the runs that the likes of Rachel Rohr are making, particularly for Rangers, you know, it's about trying to get that ball, um, you know, forward quicker. I'm just going to pick in this mission, Hillet. Jane Ross, she is going to go to the ball, and the ball is passing the line. Mach of his own the Sun Celtic. Here's County Galf Gudic, who got a Mach van a Hu. He's, I guess, Clark and Runyans. And the tradition is skill a shower, a hack of a passing of William Mach van a Hu. Again, this, this, they've, they've tried to play it out from the back, but. Caitlin Hayes and Kelly Clark are not the best, with all due respect to them, Suzanne, they're not the best passers of the ball. Uh, 
I don't know if I agree with that, but yeah, um, I think... It's not their strength, put yeah, it that way. Yeah, no, yeah, I think it's, you know, Rangers are pressing well, but you know what they need? They need their, their midfield or their, or their wild players to, to help them out there and, and create the space and make the angles so that, you know, they can break the Rangers' press. I Doherty Rangers have put us on a key at all as well, which will go with the issue. Shundax, Via Lizzie Arnott, Eddie Val, Michael Barkley, the Tara Cora Mine, Tarsing, and you, Savard. Arnott, Hein Chimichel drops it, and I think it's a cool Monglu. Yes, and the ringy bow line got clicked at this net. Strippen, Achehain, Hardy, Oasta, Kevin Asavat, Amy Gallagher, Lehain, Akinui, Tito, Ash, Kevin Achehain, 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 Rangers in his case tonight in a kind of way in the GNX Celtic. Alasu is Valizzi Arnott. Arnott to where the Kia Tower to force Gira in the Nuri. The Tower of Alan Kucha. The Tower of Bear again in Dayson. On a first day, and you shouldn't be pushing your share, but Arnott, I'll give you Caramel a stalker. Barkley, Suez can hear much. The line to be the Dice of Celtic to Kluke Drast. But Celtic living dangerously at the moment, Suzanne. Yeah, they can seem to get comfortable possession. Um, you know, Rangers are, are picking up every second ball. Um, and I think, you know, earlier on we've seen Amy Gallica get the ball when, when no teammate at all in, in support. I think Rangers are, are pressing the game really well and, and closing that space down whenever whenever Celtic do get the ball. The ball with Ashraf Gershaw. He is shot caught him to Rachel Rowe. Amy Sua guy in here. I guess my colleague can be shown up at the start. I almost thought she should have taken that first time, but having taken the touch, Suzanne, she really should have put that away. Yeah, she should have definitely have hit the target, at, at least there. You know, it's a great cutback to, to pick it out. Um, you know, she's she's took the touch and she's managed to get it out from her feet, but she's just dragged it too, too wide with her left foot and she'll be disappointed because it was a great opportunity. Smash they push on Yilla. So you'll have the Horam Ryan Shin of the East. Ross Garnet, I guess. I caught the Kishog on the Stevo. Rachel Rowe, he's a Kihane of the Shin. And the U Oper for Kata. Tess Middag, the Kuchuk, the Suez Gaw, the Voxavik Kuchuk. With eleven and all shine, he shall the drops it. Go roll. Kind of dash. Jason, he's in the upper for Jimmy Keller, the box it, which roll to Alcola, Father Hankarida, Puktu Voku, Lamy Gallagher. McLean, Dunland, Cordell, the Val, 
Still got Hill. I guess he's the chief. I fear in the end. I fear in the end. Try it. Garnets. I've heard a notion of the Kavanaugh. That's guy, but. In a huge hurt, you could have sent the kick to Selena Croat at Hosha Fed on Blue. Well, see me in a path kit, Cornet. Who offers a court out the Rangers? You need this again again. You need to get started. Passing in a hug, ruin your knack at doing the new shot. Whoa, the ish. You can be hard to get through it. The ish, you can get the guy in the fast. The ish. Oh, but Shen, the one that has a good mongolo. Hey, on the race, the Craig of the ish. Well, who does define Shekha Tora? This year, got Chelsea Cornet in the north. I guess it drops the Dias to the Shekha at the first. Seems like it was only a matter of time before Rangers scores his hand, but again, it was very easy for Brogan Hay to get down the right hand side and Chelsea Cornet with the effort from just outside the box. Yeah, it's just far too easy for, for Rangers at the moment. You know, Celtic just can't get a hold of the hold of the ball and you know use it the way they want to and it's you know credit to Rangers they're, they're pressing everything you know I think so far in the game you know it's fair to say that Rangers midfield are, are, are dominating and um, you can see the influence the likes of McLean and in particular Rachel Rohr having in the game and you know another great opportunity for, for Rangers but you've you've got to ask where is you know the defence at the edge of the box there because again it's it's too easy for Chelsea Cornet to, to get it out for her feet and have a strike at goal. Gem Gamas Dunya, the Vianvo Helig Celtic kick shot. Amy had to turn it. Hokal Gamor had first and a half the Cohen and Gintel. Kavanagh. I guess Havorn had to do that. Caught him. We'll try and go Gallagher. Lee Ross, in the pick and room, you know, shouldn't have shared with Celtic Gallagher, Partido de Vemuyi, so he had classic in the hat of the Hoodie Kayla, I guess, the Ish Haro Bow, still going to walk some Macadel, I guess, who are they, Rachel Rowe, for this shoot. Shen, here can be Bachu, Hurricane of Kadora, and there's a passive notion to go after the Hosha for Rio Hardy. Prachtig Sue is now here, you. That's the first real kind of spell of sustained passing that Celtic have enjoyed in the game, Suzanne. But again, the final ball from Partido wasn't good enough into the box. Yeah, again, it's the the final ball, but again, it's the the second ball as well. When it breaks to the edge of the box, it's you know it's a Rangers player picking up the ball and again breaking through through Rachel Rowe. Lee Ross, it dull yet. I guess uh, Celtic she has got Jane up. Doherty, I should hold the marker. He's sure still according to Rangers, but that Natalie Ross, yeah. I think they should hear to her line. Now, these pass through a good ash. I could haze on the drip lift when you might. I ain't a fella. I think it's still a fella. Can I sat a good check at the goal of the villa? Natalie Ross, a dash it. Celtic Adash got one skipper. It. It was 
get around the gin of mat, the motion under into Petito. It's supposed to line at this, the highest Santa Gashef of Hosnet. Then we get like Barclay in the cool look. Come as you hear there, go Ross. So, had a hound dog, Tarsing and Ocean got long glue. He should come as a Harutan, Mir Villahian and Narayevi, Shalagay, Tarakic. Logan he, Kapu Hilach, Kafakilach, Yakindi, was going to line it. Yeah, Doch is the hook all the same. The is Chile. I go Shen. I guess I'm not in the inner. Come on, Edarakic. Tag. Let's go. Yo Hardy. Come on, Bell. I'm not sure that the how. Point to the ruin and assess the books at Barclay. Oh, it's going to shut out the Foster. She had caught him in a game as on Celtic. I think she had almost given up on this before it arrived, Suzanne, and then she realised I've got a chance here. <laughs> yeah, I think um, from a Celtic perspective, they probably wish that was full reverse with Barclay with, with yeah. Gallica there, but you know, it's coming out of the air, it's you know it's a hard one to take. Sure caught him. I guess the Purin Yee, Game needs a goal, Suzanne, and, and Celtic are fortunate that they're they're still goalers because they, most of the chances, the real chances, have fallen to Rangers. Yeah, I think you know if, if Rangers weren't to you know get a goal or, or to you know for Celtic to, to get a goal now, I think Rangers would be very disappointed because they've certainly you know dominated the opening you know 20 25 minutes of, of this game and you know had two great chances they've, they've not converted you know Celtic are starting to come back into it a bit more you know Ming Lu's getting on the ball and enjoying possession a bit more but yeah I think we we need a goal to, to really get this game going okay. we're gonna be in Ross the here to watch follow boy but Three is the fashion. Got him from the father who got a year course here in the Chitonic. He should shin. This is a new hips. He used to grow him from the Tonshka Kid with a biscuit. This is a kind of funny point of going. He should get enough sun here to this in the after. It's a dual portal dog. It's a piece of skip back. He should the gas and sewers to fave. Who was wrong, but my year at the course here in the. Against a 
she's been excellent all game, Suzanne, and she took it upon herself. I'm going to make things happen here. And this one clashed back off the crossbar. Yes, she's been so good so far. She's so strong in possession, you know, and, and driving with the ball. She had lots of options as well. You know, I was wondering who she was going to pick out, but what a strike. And, you know, she's unfortunate to see it come off the, the, the crossbar. I'm just getting the game again. Look at her ears. Cavanagh, the is Shakal Lavui, the me in the path kit. Cornet. And Boomer Shoig, Monglou, Masurangi, Rosetta Gaster, and Noreen Karun, Rua Yinson, Bow Line for Smach, and Ishay, Fine Chimical, the Progen Hate. Kafakura. <laughs> Me and the Rangers of Bal of Inukadish McLean, Nishbo Aster, I guess. Leish, Gronkage Doris. Rangers knocking at the door again, Susan. This time it's Kirsty McLean from outside the area. Yeah, this time it's, it's Kirsty McLean. And, you know, we know how dangerous she can be from, from the edge of the box as well. But, you know, again, it's, it's Celtic playing themselves into trouble. You know, they're not being strong enough. They're, they're getting pushed off the ball far too easy. You know, by Rangers who credit to them, you know, so far they, they seem to be showing more hunger and, and desire to, to win the ball back. Yes, Kelly Clark, you have to be really mafia to do well. There's fear with the Rangers, Gina de Bunya, the issue. Find Jimmy Keller in the tag. The ish Rachel Rowe, Nas Larcher that tuned out me in the path kit. Tito, it's the ish Nuriga, but Kumalach Kahane. Shasu, the dash in their position for Rachel Rowe. Look at that, this colleague at Granger so far, that can you do a line? And it's much a tarsing of Jiffer. Either Rangers will be a Kenyoni, Nyoni, Nyobi, Tell Kenyoni, Hosha. Cogging a dolly, Rachel Rowe, the ish. Kumarach got hook out of the ish to stay. Caitlin Hayes, a fine Zua Kutumahed. Chile, yeah, that's just a bit of Nicky Doherty. Cornet, tuned out. Kirsty McLean, the best of the year. Nicky Dashko, Mitaka, Dasha, Kanishko, McLean. And she said we'd see how the team would change after a few days under a stewardship. Have you noticed any changes so far? Um, it's difficult to say because, uh, you know, I think Rangers have, have really dominated 
possession. Uh, you know, if I'm honest, I don't think she'll be too happy with what she's seen so far in this this first half. And you can see that. You know, she spoke during the week about you know how calm she is on the sidelines, but I think she's she's frustrated because she knows her team are, are much better than than what they've showed so far in the the first half. I think you know she needs her team to be braver on the ball. You know, more direct and you know really start to ask questions of, of Rangers. And Luca Grocco with Ash got Craig, Steve got Ross, said Ash going to pick it a sheena. Shana skills to nick it. Ach, I'm going to do it. Luca finds check out Cathy Hill when you match your chest of a hit. Shen, Ash got Craig, Kavana, and the Kinta have been to check out the wheel. Come on, Trich, me and the path is a hit late. Beast Shen, Kachau, Masangi for Smachke. Corner to point to Glos at Lua, Hay the God Ash and Elena Gian. Hardy. Barkley, come on, Sula the Shin, Achjaka Grand Puyamach. Shalakhat is Vashini Devau, I guess Sadiku Kumalabui, I guess. Nicky Dock at the end of the ash. The the crew of your Dock at the end of the ash. the issue of the ash. Natalie Ross is Rio Hardy. Ishgak at the Kachikela Arna Tarsing, I guess. First in the Celtic, Jida Gadokati. Against us, and two defenders look at each other, leave the ball, and luckily for them, the cross goes straight to Kelsey Doherty. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's so poor from Celtic, you know, it's, it's really unacceptable for a throw in to get right past two defenders in their own box. Show at the Bilpin and Sewell, the Dr. Kel Nailer and the Path, get Gallagher, could it have been the state call of Anila Macaliora, Cathy Hill as a part, come on, Bullock, if I had asked Chloe Craig, get a goal. Shkoshen. Look back at this again, Suzanne, and maybe Doherty gets. I think she does get a touch on that onto the back. Yeah, she does. That's a you know a fantastic save. Um, you know, I think both of us maybe missed that first time round, but you know, great save to. To tip that onto the crossbar, or you know, Rachel Rose scoring, you know, a fantastic goal and giving our team the lead. Craig, so we've got the inner path to the ish, how to shoot on glue. Ish Kavanagh guard Shechat. Hardy, maybe she come and she can fast and smooth. Maybe caught a male of a last up. Half chance from distance, Suzanne, but again. Colette Cavan has had a difficult first half. She's particularly culpable in terms of always giving the ball away. And if you're if you're the Celtic coach, you'd, you'd be looking to, to rectify that if possible. Yeah, I think, you know, the, as I said, I think in these type of games, you know, the midfield dictates, you know, who comes out on top. And, you know, so far in this game, Rangers have really dominated that area. Um, you know, particularly Colette Cavan has not getting as much time and space as she's, you know, probably used to in, in other games in the league. And, you know, I think, as you say, Elena you know, will be wanting to have a look at that at, you know, half-time and, you know, try and ask our team to, to be a bit more careful in possession and, as I spoke about, be really be, brave and, and go and take the ball. Well, look at the issue, Kevin Lillian, a party of guitar, because Amy Gallagher, and the Baker Yenner Lehe in Havort, and the Swedish Duos, and the Ruch Survdip, Jekhat to the Moya Voxer, the Chok Karam guy, Caitlin Hayes, and the Kelly Clark, a Fuchtuk Suos, in the Voxer, Amy Gallagher, with the Moya. So in a bowl of gal. You can do a later arch, you aren't a tarring at Asher, and Mr. Anki Kirsty McLean. Shock caught him to his. Gasson Richard. 
and the fan of Kane Leroux, the shot for Craig Ian, who was the boxer. Shach Minachin got the union, has to fear the Shakir Tolls again, sir. So far, I can myself to get the Lagan, but I can get on for Sikh of my shot, Utica Chian, Gallagher Maha. Searching for Cornet, he was Jane Ross, Kafuchukumach, a Duval. So, the Kabal of Anastava Gallagher game at the rat. I guess the Dish had to look at the Rangers got a clackage and a mark of Vinnie Kadash. Motion of the pen is a good here at first. Will you again? again. Always at the centre of the action, Suzanne. No surprise that she picks up the first yellow card of the game. No, it's you know it's part and parcel of our game. Um, you know I don't think it was particularly that challenge there, but the you know the referee's pointing out that's been you know a number of challenges so far. Um, you know, but she'll need to be careful for the the remainder of the game because she's a you know a crucial player for the way that, that Celtic operate. Challenging a quick minute, yet again a day. I got a pick into this shot too. That'll be our only good shot. This shot too, but hell, the Rangers and Carmen had a very good goal at Hoshach. I'm going to get Shinar here. And Brat of Suez and now Rachel Rowe Rabat. At that, he had a very good Hoshach on it too. Okay, need this again again. And Celtic first and Nachila to get it. He's. Sheer hook to down, so shouldn't kill looking at Phoenix Celtic and Canoe McLean. Also, the fall of a flick at the Marisash Blue Dasha Kuchaku Lane and GM Spock the McGrash and the Craig at the Javil of Ashton Rangers. Show it up first on a hat, Chile get Ashka Shen, I go for Carson go Ross, Sakadish, Savinach, corner to the moon, to Chibui, the dash guy, and this should have had the horse of him. Arnott. I should have a clean gin for Hoshaka game, Drumat, I guess, uh, we can decay my game, a hook out, and a skip back is an acha. Well, I'll try to get a good game with the rat, Chandler Gale Union. He's going to make one of the goals. He's going to pass down the ball. I've said, Chile go Rachel Road. Look at the shot. I've got a great interest here at late. Carl Shaw took him. Craig Sewers got near much in the river. Doherty, Nima Shabal, the hook out, Kasabal, Jack. Natalie Ross got checked. He had to tell you Connor to rehave. I guess we did it. Jane Ross got with the Duvelin. But again, Celtic, the architects of their own problems at the back, Suzanne. Yeah, I mean, you know, trying to to pass it at the edge of the box under so much pressure. You know, it's just not the the right option. And again, we're just picking up the the second balls. And Jane Ross, you know. Gets a good opportunity, and you know, by her standards, she's got to be going across goal there. Um, you know, but Celtic again get away with one. Yes, the Chibui Shahat. 
Ross is Chile Gadash for Kelly Clarklish. He's Thomas Archer coming to San Partido. Father Nicky Docker to Hanatu, who is the Gala Ruin Savage for the Mache Duval. He's got to finish us off with him a Yedo Yenelie. Celtic <laughs> Rangers, Nyoni. King a duel, game challenge, eater, a da skipper, a shon. Nyoni, Nyoni, I clay when you eater Celtic, Agus Rangers, Agus, I will give him Biaka Drasta for Susanna Hakolum, I call through Parka Drasta. Susanna, we expected a tight game between these two sides, and it's certainly been that. What are your, what are your overall thoughts on that 45 minutes? Yeah, I think it's been a, a tight game, as you say, but, you know, I think Rangers have, have probably edged it in, in the first half, and I think, you know, of the two teams, they probably go in a little disappointed not to be ahead in the game because, you know, they've created a number of a chances to do so. And, you know, for Celtic, I think Elena's, you know, got a big big talk in her hands because she really needs more from her team in the second half. Let's go through all the, the main talking points of the first half, and we wondered how Celtic would set up at the start of the game, and they were almost the architects of their own problems playing out the, from the back, and it just wasn't really working for them. Yeah, no, it wasn't. You know, overplaying it at, at times. You know, I do, I do like that that style of play. If I'm honest, you know, I think it's it's a good way to, to break through teams. But Celtic just weren't getting the options. You know, in midfield, making the angles, and they weren't able to to break the Rangers press at all. Yeah, the high press though as well, the intensity from Rangers. And Rachel Rowe will talk about her a few times during this halftime talk, but she's been a key player and could have scored maybe at the end there. Yeah, I mean, I think she's been fantastic in this, this first half. You know, I think she's having a, a great season overall. And, you know, she was unlucky with, with one of the efforts um, and then that one off the bar at the end. You know, you've, a great save, you've got to say as well. But she's looked a real danger. She's really strong in possession. You know, she's really cruising through midfield, you know, sometimes with the ball. And, you know, I think she'll have a big influence in the second half. Back came Celtic, though, and you mentioned during the half how dangerous they are at set pieces, and they nearly got the first goal of the game. It was Kelly Clark at the edge of the box, and Cathy Hill needed to be on her toes on the line there. Yeah, to be to be fair to Cathy Hill, you know, I've seen her do that a lot. She, she senses the danger very well, and, you know, she, she clears it off the line. You know, Celtic, we know they're, they're such a threat from, from set pieces with the, you know, the defenders coming up, and on that occasion, you know, Kelly Clark looking to lob the goalkeeper and, and Cathy Hill in the right place for Rangers. I said we'd talk about it a few times, but back to Rachel Rowe. She had another chance. This time it was Lizzie Arnott down the left-hand side. And again, Rachel Rowe maybe should have done better, at least test the keeper. Yeah, she, I mean, she'll be disappointed. Certainly she's not hit the target there. I think she's had to adjust her feet slightly because I think it was slightly behind her. She's, you know, she's taken the touch and, you know, she's dragged it wide of the, wide of the post. 
but it was a theme of the first half, wasn't it? Rangers constantly on um, Chelsea Cornet there at the edge of the box. I mean, maybe should have done slightly better, do you think? Yeah, again, you know, as you say, it's been, just been a theme of the, the first half. All the second balls Rangers have been picking up. They've looked the hungrier of, of the two sides. And, you know, on that occasion, again, Chelsea Cornet, you know, you know, she's good from the edge of the box. And, you know, fortunately for Celtic, she's, you know, she's hit it wide of the target. Well, probably the best chance of the game came to Celia Barkley. And she was in the right place <laughs> at the right time. I don't know, would Celtic have wanted her in that place? <laughs> Amy Gallagher, I think you said it in commentary, you'd maybe have rathered her there crossing the ball into the box a bit of fortune and Barkley probably should have done better there yeah I mean it is a difficult one to take you know it's a difficult technique that when the, the balls come out of the air and as I say you know she's not a striker by nature and you know she'll be disappointed obviously again not to, to work the goalkeeper but you know, I feel for Amy Gallagher a little bit in this game because any time she is getting the ball, she's getting no support. She's in the channels and, you know, again, she's such a threat. You know, 20, over 20 goals this season and, you know, Celtic will be looking to get more opportunities for her in this second half. How do Celtic go about that, though? It seems the midfield are, are a wee bit anonymous at times. You've seen the Rangers midfield. We've spoken about Rachel Rowe plenty, but how can Celtic get the likes of Amy Gallagher into the game a bit more? Listen, they've just got to be braver on the ball. They've got to be more direct. You know, they're, they're going from side to side. You know, they're, they're passing short passes when it's not on. You know, I think they've got to stretch Rangers better. It's far too easy for Rangers to, to squeeze the game and, and, you know, press Celtic. And as I say, they need their, their leaders. You need their midfield. You know, games like this are, are won and lost in midfield. And, you know, we need a bigger performance from their, their midfield in the second half. Well, last chance of the half came for Rachel Rowe and it was an absolute cracker and it was just a theme of the first half, her marauding through the midfield there and it was a cracking effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a great effort. You know, she's so strong in possession, holding off tackles and, you know, she had a number of opportunities in front of her, but, you know, she's so comfortable at striking the ball. She strikes it so well. You know, it is a, a great save from the goalkeeper, but again, you know, Rangers, as I say, will be really disappointed not to be ahead in the game. Yeah, credit where it's due with Kelsey Doherty there, great fingertip safe. But will Joe Potter be pleased with how her side have played, given the chances they've had and given they've, they've bossed the game as well? Yeah. You know, it's, it's two very talented teams, but, you know, talent gets you so far. Hunger and work rate is what gets you to cup finals. And, you know, I think Joe will be pleased that, you know, when we look at it in that perspective, her team are coming out on top. But... Again, you need goals to win games and, you know, they've had opportunities to do so. She spoke about them being ruthless, you know, all season and, and she needs them to be ruthless in the second half. Let's see what happens in the second half, but we'll hear from you again shortly. Susanna Khadrastas, another shocking Ike Leo Hunya. Hushing at all her soul is earth. Gonna darn it your court ye the noch either partic thistle, Agus Hibernian. Like Partick Thistle, Agus Aberni and Jeno Jeshelers on Ear Hurt Yedanach, Jehoof Belig and SWPL, Jatoni Sachin, and Shinga Shai Parka Hamden and Jew, who's praying this and that skipper. I'm really excited for it. I think all the girls are, uh, especially with the, the few wins that we've had um, this season and the momentum that we've taken. Uh, I think everyone's looking forward to it and it should be a good occasion. I think we've had a, a good season so far. Um, I've really enjoyed my football. I think I'm, I have some good form as well. So, yeah, we're just looking to obviously carry the momentum that we're doing and just really looking forward to the game. Yeah, listen, it's a big occasion for the club. It's now mine and the club's second semi-final. We've got to in my tenure at the club. We've coming off the back of two good victories to begin the new year. So it's one we're relishing. It's one where we think we've got a real good opportunity as a home team. But at the same time, all the pressure's on Hibs. They're the full-time outfit. We are the part-time outfit. They've got bigger finances than us, and, but I don't think they've got a bigger spirit, and I think that'll hold us in good stead. I hope we can get a really big crowd in there to really support the girls, and because they deserve it, they've been growing, as I said, and now they need the backing from the crowd, because sometimes that gets you over the edge. Looking forward to it massively. It's a um, great occasion, I'm sure it'll be, um, come match day, and um, yeah, place where we want to be playing our football in, in semi-finals, for sure. We aspire to be one of the best teams um, and I think if you're going to do that, certainly your league position shows your consistency over the season, but um, to get to the latter stages of the Cups I think also indicates that um, you know, you're there or thereabouts. Um, so we're in there fighting in the last four and, and certainly um, I'm happy with that at this stage. A clicker today, Abby Ferguson, El Cleo with Peter Hill, a show we get via the Isatelli Partick Thistle and Taysen Sakai. 
le hibs et kalmer haas an de mecho an eins gefall losacho a fesige dasker greg en faske wesau echterat obviously i respect this so so much they done a lot for me and i really enjoyed my time there um but yeah i just look to play as any other game really i think both sides um have really big threats that obviously if this only that we have threats we know that this will have threats but yeah we're just looking forward to this this game and hopefully we can get the better of them this time we'll be looking to to reverse that if we can we actually played pretty well that night so it, it, it was a it was a really really difficult one for us to lose um but look different competition and, and it's just an outright win and i don't expect partick to play the same way if i'm honest um so yeah look it's it's a it's a wrong that we have to try and right and, and no better time to do it in the semi-final we know it's going to be a hard game it always is against tibbs i know we went through there early in the campaign and won 2-0 in the league but in any game, especially against the top five side, you needed a bit of luck. We got a bit of luck that day. Our goalkeeper was in top form, and when we got the big opportunities, we made sure we took, we taken them, and we did that day. It was a fantastic victory, and we'll be looking for more the same come Sunday. We've built a really competitive squad where nobody can rest on their laurels, and it's, it's making for a really good environment around the place. And we're going strength to strength, so Hibs will be worried about us, no doubt about it, and so they should be. It gives us massive confidence, to be fair. We've, uh... We've, we've wanted to get results against top teams this season and we've done that against Hibs and if we do that again that can only fill us full of more confidence to do that against the other top teams. They'll bring a competitive edge to the game for sure, they always do, um, but I'm, I'm confident in the group of girls that we've got with any team that is picked uh, that will go on and perform well. Ha aach is a heed hoort yed an achboor yen deizen a keelchuk tár to gach tuf. Actually, keet kafak eith na skipien eith hoshach i the game to dánich, ha bion doch is fain chun an ach hoort la karamachke an kuchpa a hokal. I think it'd be massive. I think it's massive for the club. If we can get to the final uh, and perform there as well, then it's, it's only going to push us in the right direction. We want to win every every competition that we're in, and I think we want to win all games that we're involved in. So top six was definitely one of those aspirations, and then to go as far as we can in the cup as well. So to be in a semi-final for the first time um, of this cup, so that, that's something that we really wanted to do. And, now we've done it, so uh, hopefully we can push on from there. Everyone wants to win cups, obviously, and obviously some of my teammates have been lucky to do so. So that's the main aim, just keep the momentum going, have a good week in training. Everyone's looking forward to it, so yeah, all about Sunday. And there's a real buzz about the place and the fact that we've went and won those two early games in the year now breeds confidence into the group. Going into a big, massive game as a semi-final where anything can happen, somebody can go and be a hero, get your make history and get, get your club to a final, so I'm sure all my players are really relishing the, the occasion. Getting to the finals is great, it, it only becomes memorable when you win, um, but we've, we've got a tough hurdle to, to overcome to get there. But look, it's, it's on our wish list now, we're, we're so close, another game, another victory, we get there, um, and then we give ourselves a 50-50 a chance in the final, so yeah, we'll, we'll enjoy the moment if we get there, there's no, no doubt in my mind about that. I think I'm going to go to the park and get a skipper. I'm going to go to the park and get a skipper. I'm going to go to the park and get a skipper. I'm going to go to the park and get a skipper. Suzanne, looking ahead to that second semi final, it's live on BBC Alpha on Sunday at 4 o'clock. Um, what are your thoughts ahead of it? Because I mean, we, th we know this one has been a tight game tonight, but it's going to be equally as tight on Sunday. Yeah, I think it'll be another a tight semi-final. You know, it's an interesting one and it's, you know, one I'm looking forward to as well. I think, you know, particularly for Partick Thistle, you know, I've always been really impressed with, with Brian Graham and, and how he set his team out. You know, they got to that, that top six last season and, you know, for them as a group, if they could get to a cup final, it's massive. Um, we spoke about Hibs over the, the last couple of months about, you know, the success they've had, you know, Many years ago now, they'll be looking to, to get themselves back into a cup final and, and, you know, who knows what can happen when you get yourself there. Yeah, you mentioned there Partick Thistle. It's, it's almost another stepping stone on their way to more history, I suppose. You mentioned the top six there. They've never reached a national final and it's, a, it's an enormous opportunity for them. It's massive, you know, as a, as a player, you know, certainly as I know now, when you're retired, <laughs> um, you know, and, and football's gone, 
from your life, you look back and you look back at those moments, those, you know, semi-finals, but in particular finals, you know, and, and as a player, you work hard every day. That's why you go on the football pitch. That's why you, you know, you work so hard. And as I say, I've been really impressed with how they've applied themselves so far. Hibernian know their opponents and uh, they've won this competition more than anyone else. Grant Scott won it back in 2019 with Hibernian. So plenty of experience there with Grant, but also the likes of Joel Murray as well in the squad. Yeah, I mean, they've got players in their, in their team like Joel that you said that, that's been there and done it and won it. So, you know, she's got the, the experienced head in there to, to help the rest of the, the Hibs players. But as I said, you know, I think Hibs as well, you know, they're a team that, that want to get back to, you know, that, that sort of top three again and you know for them it's you know a big opportunity to get themselves in another cup final out of Partick Thistle and Hibs who do you think would be best suited against the likes of Celtic and Rangers if they do progress to the final I think that's difficult to say if I'm honest you know in a, in a cup game you know anything can happen and um, you know it's, it's hard to pick between the two because we speak about Hibs and you know their experience in these cup competitions but then you look at Partick Thistle and you know, sometimes just having no fear about you in a cup final and going up against the likes of Rangers or Celtic, you know, will be a big opportunity for them. So, you know, I think whatever side gets there, you know, both Celtic and Rangers won't take them lightly. Well, you can see that game live on BBC Alpha on Sunday coming four o'clock. And um, Suzanne, looking ahead now to the second half of this game, it's nil-nil it's at half time. We spoke about maybe what Joe Potter will be feeling at half-time at the moment and what she might be saying to her players. What about Elena Sadiku, our first half-time talk with these Celtic players? What do you think her message will be to them ahead of the second half? I think, you know, first and foremost, as I said, she needs more hunger and desire. They're, they've been pushed off the ball far too easily, in, in my opinion. You know, I, I won't be surprised as well if she maybe makes a couple of changes. As I said, I think Amy Gallagher's been, you know, almost an isolated figure up there. I'm not quite sure it's working with, with her and Partido, so we might see you know, the likes of, of Agnew or, or Tyree Butcho, who, you know, got goals at the weekend as well, you know, and is, is in good form. So she might look to make, make some changes. You were maybe, though, expecting Celtic to get a bit of a, a new manager bounce. Is it, can maybe nerves be playing a part here tonight, playing in front of your, your manager for the, well, this, the first time in the dugout? She was in the stands on Sunday, but do you think that's maybe playing a part? Listen, I don't think so, to be honest. I think it's, it comes down to how Rangers have, have played so far in this game. I think they've, they've dominated, um, you know, as I said, I think how you apply yourselves in this game, it's, you know, it is about, you know, your, your talent and the way you're set up, but it's mostly about your hunger and desire to go and win a, a football match at the end of the day, one as big as this and one that's going to get you to a cup final. And just a final thought on Rangers. How pleased do you think they'll be heading into the second half? What do you think they need to do to, to get that step and to, to get a goal that will maybe decide the game? I think, you know, from a Rangers perspective, they're probably just looking for, for more of the same. You know, they, they just need to be a bit more ruthless, as we said, in front of goal. They're creating great opportunities, you know, the likes of Rachel Rowe, you know, she has a, a, a second half like she did in the first, you know, I think, you know, this probably the game will only go one way, but, you know, I think Joe Potter will just be hammering home that the, the key is just to take those opportunities. Let's see what happens, Suzanne, you can head back up now to commentary, I guess, uh, well, Sinn Féin will sing a dollar dress, if that's good on your head, it's on a darn late, it's in the skipping show, if that's good on your head. Morning, thank you, Vinkel. Uh, Rangers, the Muni of the Fath, Kavakoras and Adara Lee, and Kadol Spia the Fath, and Yamanavaras Kabukorga V. It Hoshach, a clear unit, Lishna Korum and Avaka, Sikhiat Lee, and I say Sakakula to the Grand Hain with Celtic, Marhas, Ligi, Dacens, Kuchach and the Gorshir and the Kukpoglasko, Joe Potter, Kia Tays and Eki the Vika Massa, the Vakala Haikiri, Tuish Nash and the Illa Masurinye, and the Kukpe League, Kukpegle at the Nuri. I guess uh, Lizzie Arnon, Barry McGrath, I guess uh, Kirsty Howard, Nachilla Sass, and Ochoa and Tull, Sports Hero, Nachano Hibs, Quicket and Excelta, Kachina Mach, I guess Jehu and the Nanjit, which had Kumuk Poik and Quicket and Jehu, Velate Roki, Velate the Mishni, who was on the game, I guess, uh, Porti Heen, Crown, China Mach as a tunnel, the Shinners and Celtic, I guess, in that Shin Arach, Sadarale, Ray Kolosh, Mishna Tuxin, Hanil Arachagan, two Shatu. And the Lach Gilla Mustanchich, the Darn of the Day. we got the engine of a case, Jack, the ship Hiat or a Jack, Elena Sadiku, a Glee Union, Navaris Nachpison, Lassic Suez, Lefedic, Hotra, and a Triarca, and the Lamusinic Ron of Lukit and Famous at Pick and the Scholar, the Son General Sayers, the Darn of the Day. Leo Hardy, it is Bob. 
Mian Patke, Chisha Lasson, Game of Kutkato, Vitalishana, the Besmoot, the Hail, Shinalina, Sidiko, Chidigamach, and Engia, Achisha, Rehard, the Shakarik, Tol, Ulukilir, as a Lafak, the Shin Tasin, and Sisha Kuda Darli, Katol, Rashko, Pastor McLean, and Kero, Urp, Union, and Urp, and other books, and Mosh McLean Union. Jane Ross. The bullock had a big hole for the game. Jane Ross. The Jane Ross. A ball of wood. She is second. We still have a man. So we have to wait now. Fast get the ball. Get the ball going again. It's a shin route. I should touch. Can I skip it? Ball trap. It's on Gallagher. But he is. Well, I'm going to hold the ball again. He's going to get it. Dara Ur. It's on. Chile kedes, I guess I'm a Gallagher. Me holy shit, we should put that in the proportion of a shot. Think I'm a Gallagher as a case here, so stand the final touch coming off who? Yeah, I do think the final touch come off Kathy Hill's Hill's knee. Um, you know, Kathy Hill, she is very fast. Um, you know, and, and manages to get back to, to sniff out the danger from Mimi Gallagher. We think she'll be counts, but you're not giving Rangers two like a hell man. I guess Chelsea Cornet, Lishner, Chida, Kotokoti. And they would have been really angry had that come to a goal at the other end. It's Chelsea Cornet this time with the with the effort just on the edge of the area. Yeah, again, it's just straight down the the throat of the goalkeeper. Um, you know, I think the, the ball actually was was in earlier to, to Jane Ross, who was in you know pretty much free in the, the, the six yard box. But again, you know, a couple of minutes into the second half, and already another chance for Rangers. He is drop fast for Shane. Got Shechat can hook him to be. I guess can then you fast get it. But Jean Ross, I guess not in Yisha. I need that catch. But again, just as they were in the first half, Suzanne Shen Mongu under no great pressure gives the ball away when she had time to stop and look. Yeah, again, it's just you know it's so wasteful, and it's only a matter of time before Celtic get punished for it. Again, you know, Jean Ross, I think she's chose the wrong option there. You know, from that distance, she had three teammates ahead of her. You know, there was another option, but. Again, you know, Celtic creating their own problems. Monglu, you can see now that he's going to let Cathy Hill just roll over the sun. I guess we'll watch it. Do you want to get followed by two yams? Maybe he's going to get cool or not? So it's got Jane Ross to in a shower. Who is on the power line for Smash? Could be a Lizzie Arnott. Trying to get out of the box. He's going to run the hands and they're pitching the stakes. The East will cheat it. You can see Doherty. And they've all been sighters from the edge of the area and they've all been going into the grateful arms of Kelsey Doherty so far. Yeah, nothing nothing too much, you know, troubling Celtic, but, you know, again, it's it's just the amount of opportunities Rangers are, are having. You know, Doherty's managed to be, you know, at the end of everything thrown at her so far, but as I say, you know, Celtic can't afford giving these opportunities away. Shana Sharp, Natalie Ross at the bow of school, and Tarsin got Monglu, a Duval. Rogan Hay McKenna, Monglu, Carragas Day, Count of Shanur, Sophie Echen Yehain, I guess it is Shanur, but she's a Shech, I guess, uh, so you can just see Shech at Gamma at the first. But it's the first sign of positivity we've seen for Monglu, Susanne. We know she can do this, she can cut in from that left hand side and create and take chances. Yeah, it's the first time, as you say, she's she's done it all night, but it is, you know, what she's, she's known for, you know, I've. I watched the game at the weekend against Montrose and you know she had so much joy cutting in from the, the left hand side onto that right foot. Um, you know, and on that occasion, you know, again she'll just be disappointed. I don't think she had comfortable possession of the ball as she was travelling with it and you know the shot goes way wide of the post. And blue the to the Val Edu Val. I guess uh Hill Kasatara. Craig and Ashko Gallagher. Je hoek alles tegen je moer en ze voksen. Ross het puugt ik zo eens weer in de opperige dag. Ook Havana, dit stuk, Go Hardy, Arnold, weer in die. Maar alles tegen. Shen, fijne. Shen het hartje gehad, weet je. Wel dat ik een keer begon je weer. Zuur die pijn. Geen ik, maar goed ik is daar maar zo. En het is met een pietel, ik denk dat daar de Jeravis games het pietel zo tot collega de Varag. I guess uh, they've been penish with his fame or it. Cornet. Here 
Ash can attack. It's a top session. Rangers are far in the past. You can look at the story you hear it. He's a lot of talk. Kiri at Gallagher goal. The motion you see you. I guess in this gebracht of Suez. She did a match for full of energy. Clean the ears, lead. Come over soon. Your stats tuned out. Count the hook out. Jenna with the Leeds Celtics pass a school. Did a match. Can good to be here. Could prove in here. Rachel Roll. Countess and Coggan in a really fine reach of the Likalashi game, Kumal at all. Ah, the clean Kahukal Kiyu, Stiko Cornet. Arnett. Hill. Hey. Kayuri Adash, Anglu. Stata Gadora. Reach of the current was a rat. The shin at Custom McLean, a who they can wheel to you. Femi Natalie Ross, we fight a lot. He's any Chloe Craig, Jimmy Kalka, Kuchiku. Hill, count the sun, the most. Kelsey Doherty Partido Word the other yellow? Yeah, I think so, to be honest. I think, you know, Nicola Doherty again, you know, she's very strong in the challenge. I think, you know, she also had one in the, the first half on the, the touchline on Fertido. So again, maybe, you know, not so much that challenge, but, you know, second second defence and in, in into the referee's book. She's sort of into Celtic again, Alicia Khora Masood is it? Masood Pip, Amy Gallagher is a heel. Look at Lane and Gamma Art, the other books. Gallagher, Fader Shinija, Hanish Chichian, Galfana Hu, looking at the Galfana Pasta Partido, I guess Jackson and Lion Chaka, a major name Shaka, at the finish or Shaka. A chick is on smooth in my yard. Now it's my rehio is in a fucking carolab. Hill suez can you get in? Sipi, boy, push it. And Suzanne, you always know when there's no complaint from the player. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my first thought from from up here was that it was handball. Um, you know, I think in today's game, you just you just can't raise your hands. You know, I think. You know, Kathy Hill is unfortunate because it comes off the, the underside of her elbow, but, you know, the way the game's going, as soon as you lift your hands in the box, you know, you, you give the referee that opportunity and, you know, maybe against the run of play, Celtic have got the opportunity to go ahead in this one. I know you drew, I know you ran it. I caught him myself, did you go with Osha? The age of the Chief of the Father, who Victoria is, and the Hurin Yee, Chief of the Chloe Craig, the Chief Tull, my house, the Hula Fat, the Shay Dason, sir. Nurinji Unji Akiyana, yeah. He is Fedish and Yichak. Craig Maha, when it's Bach, there is a big play in the Vesson in the Uve. I told Craig and Tia Vela, I guess, ha, none of Tull Chiak, Yana Dason, I hear. And Suzanne Lappin against the run of play, Celtic are ahead. Yeah, they are. Um, you know, Chloe Craig. She stepped up over the years for Celtic. She has the penalty kick taker. You know, you've got to say it's not the most convincing penalty. You know, she's hoping that the goalkeeper moves and Essen does move and, you know, into the back of the net it goes and, and Celtic are ahead in the game. 11 goals for the season is not a bad return at this stage for the defender. No, it's not. Um, 
you know, and I know most of them, to be honest, haven't came from the, the penalty spot. Um, you know, she's been a great player for, for Celtic over the years, a great servant. You know, I know how passionate she is about the club as well, and, you know, she'll be delighted to put her team ahead. Well, I shouldn't have the game of Elk out. Listen to you, Jiffer and Eshin. The Frickers for Rangers. Pooch das and Baraka there, Dor. So, Carmen had a Viachka, a Kodaka Viadoshak. Ach, the Shadola, who Craig won his put finish, Celtic with Ella to the Hoshak. And Shin Chris Jeffrey the Rangers get us a Dayan for a degree of Nanoi, Blian and Maha, Hat of the Vid Gedic, the Yam Vishin, the League, and the Strider Dayson, Hat of the Yedic, the Norsen, and the Katadash, the Turl, but McLean. I guess Hardy is due to his Celtic at the Hoshak Sadish on the Kupu Glasgow with Amy Gallagher, Celtic at Hoshak, Hachanik, McLean, Sajik Vayedig, Fine Rangers Kuinan, I guess Norson, good finish for Kirsty Hewitt, Machina Unikilio, Rakahast, Amy Gallagher, Countison, Kogan Aguila, Idod Napath, Gay Hast, the Alar, Acha, Machkaricha, the Tatashin, Rangers, Bristu, Arnott. Hardy Gamalish Gulf, you can find Chimical at his. Tito, Shinsma, Shinsnock, when a sponge, the notion of Stavia in the park, go Ross, I guess the notion of Kiri, you do have a said, Partido, I look at your catas and find Nikki. Galahan, or Lishmus to the UCLA, the Nikki Doherty. Gilly, Gilly. Tori Jabal, Draka Gadash for Arnott, Tito, Diest, Fima Chetai, Kaya the Clui, he was the Rangers of the Jamil Burpa. Bro, but to the Muya Box of Diest, Fia Kandi Chele, Kela Falab, Kelly Clark, Asavad, Kavana, Passbeck, Lua, Nashina Sher, was Celtic Sadara Day. Glue, Feo Kazajilig, Amy Gallagher at cool line it. I thought Monglue was waiting for her to get back. Yeah, Had she, did she get back in time? Obviously no, not. I don't think she did. I'm looking right across the line. Um, I think she's been booked for descent as well. Um, you know, I think she was unfortunate a couple of minutes ago because it looked like another foul to me. Um, Kathy Hill on Amy Gallagher. I think she's more frustrated at that than the. The offside as such. And she um, gets a yellow card yeah, for that as well. Kicking the ball away. Yeah, but again, you know, the game's really opened up. You know, Celtic with a you know, their tails up after getting that goal and you know, Rangers holding that high line, there's the opportunity if they can, you know, time it right to, to get in behind the Rangers defence. Tails doing and a car game of Hanachel, I guess uh it's a bit of chat. Jeff Barak me on like Celtic is on a game, that's Joey Villad Hoshach, Juval Lashin Kata. The row, Bia Brogan Hay, Bowlich and Tarsing, Kelly Clark, a stop at Casamach, find a boy, you fall up. Anthony Ross, Kahuda Dash, go Barclay, and this notion, so it's Kushen, I guess Partido, a shin, a share, come on, a share, but Celtic, who we come out of the wheel, took it passing in a stewie, Kayla Rutava, Father Kunora, Sikhi at late. Tito, the Diaz of Real Madrid, making Barach in a vowel, Class of Darale. Hayes, Brock Boer, a coin to Son Monglu, Ju Fasa, and the Machvan at Hu. And the Oka Gadash got Portido, Acha, Dolph Gidach got Nicky Doherty. Haring at Ash and Orshin. Well, I've just been praising Partido, she's been livelier in the second half, and then she goes. Just something stupid like that. Yeah, it's silly. Um, you know, it's good play from Nicola Doherty driving, but you're just not going to get away with that. You know, two hands on, pulling her back, and you know, into the referee's book she goes as well. Didn't learn that at Real Madrid. Ward, <laughs> <laughs> UC Barclay, I guess I'm looking to Partido from Alistair. Tag. Hey.
I don't know about you, Suzanne, but I thought she was lucky to get away with that. I'm not so sure, you know, I think she maybe got just enough on the ball, just enough, you know, to... Yes, she's caught Rachel Rowe, but I think she's won the ball with the, the first touch, and obviously the referees thought so too, because he was in a great position to award the free Finish. kick. Finish. Kelly Leila. I think I'm right. New C of Al. Maybe that's going to have Al, the Mrs. Moonyan. First enough. But from Joe Potter's point of view, Suzanne, she'll know she knows that Rangers have already come from behind against Celtic this season, not once but twice in the Glasgow Cup as well. So it's a long way to go in this game yet. Yeah, there's a long way to go and, you know, she will know that, but I think she'll also be very disappointed that they're going to have to come from behind as well. You know, I spoke at half-time about when you're in top in games like this, you know, you need to take your opportunities because, you know, you're not going to get 20 chances. You know, you're maybe going to get four or five and you need to take them. Um, and they certainly had the chances in the first half. Hey, the Cheval stay. Jane Ross, if you're going to get an eye on it, I guess and Hardy, I guess Gamer, Caitlin Hayes, it's just more of an edge to Celtic's play in the second half, both offensively, but also seem to be just more alive, more awake yeah. at the back. Yeah, they're making the ball their own, you know, and I think that's what they weren't doing in the, the first half, was going and actually winning the ball. Sean Jifferas again. Partido Lisha now at Bagus Cathy Hill, Lanshaku Buid, Chloe Craig, Gifuadi Shalp, Rapulach and Oshin, I guess Lena Sadiko, Skipaki and Oshach. What a start it would be for her career if she won this game and got to a cup final in her first game. It doesn't get yeah. well, it's all downhill after that, isn't it? <laughs> in the first week, it's, it's not a bad start, is it? Um, you know, she spoke as well about how, you know, she was starting big, that's where she wanted to start. and you know, it would be a great platform for her to go and, you know, her and her team to go and kick on from. But as Femi had shown, Yann had taught her the goal has, but she shared the lead on the that, I guess, the Rangers of Alakin Kivil, of Kara Machgesen, Chile Gadash, I guess, show Vinik. So, I guess, when you're not going to do the foul, Oshan. I'm <laughs> Kelly Clark did well there. Yeah, it was good defending from Kelly Clark because, you know, from up here it looks as if Chelsea Cornet's going to get a clean header at goal. Rachel Rowe, Dara, the bossing is Joey Kayla. Yes, Doherty, Poker Shinnis and Yer, so come on, get aim it. Got a bowl up with a mark of Monglu. That Arachu Chien was Celtic Duval. Murphy Agnew. Following aid. I guess you uh, see Ashworth Clifford had to be Mach Blianale. Triple H ACL. Both offensive changes from Celtic, so she wants to go for, for more, obviously. Yeah, I'm not surprised, you know, to see Agnew come on as well. I think she's another who's, you know, been, been very good over, you know, the, the 
period before Christmas and again at the, the weekend there got herself on the the score sheet. You know, I think Minglu in particular has maybe had a, a, a difficult night, you know, apart from that that shot we spoke about. Um, she's not really got much joy out of, of Cathy Hill on that, that left-hand side. Have they changed formation as well, uh, Suzanne? Because it looks like they're may, maybe playing more with four at the back now. Yeah, it looks like to me she's went 4-3-3 three, three, um, with Partido, Gallagher and, and Agnew um, up top. Agnew, if you have any fine of the Valchen, I had to try it and triple it, got Essen. Kirsty McLean. Agnew, Rashi here. I think you'll prefer that. Ashka McLean and other folks it. Too fast, try it. Go on it. Do you have to come on the stay? Pashka, you line it. But what's in Tarsing? It's Gina Kutokoti. Sadara Savalu. What was the man about Dokoti? But here, Havalu, Makilora, Sadara Savalu. Sorry, Jima. Yes. Well, I got the carriage in the Kumala stay. Some people A couple of great saves there, Suzanne, especially the second one. A reflex save. Yeah, it was, it was point blank from, from Jane Ross. You know, I think Doherty, you know, she's had a great game so far, that second save in particular. She doesn't know too much about it, but she makes herself big and, you know, leaves Jane Ross wondering how that's not ended up in the back of the net. It's Doherty, you come on the score, a total gunyani, and you're still a mission to cook. Hey, let Paul Artele, the moon talker to see the ESA fan, love you. Later on, catch out, though, had a winner. There's Harry on the stay. Cathy Hill is Rangers to go to Dash Kuhlman. I guess Vashina Chi and Bad the Grock to the Doris. I guess hard to find a Dash Kuhlman. And a reprieve from Cathy Hill who gave away the penalty at the other end. And despite Doherty's best efforts, she couldn't prevent the ball from crossing the line. No, she couldn't. You know, a number of chances there for, for Rangers to, to get the ball in the back of the net, as you say, you know, pretty much last ditch defending from Celtic, but eventually. Cathy Hill forces it over the line um, and as you say I know she would have been desperate to, to make amends for, for giving away that penalty and she's she's got herself in the score sheet and she's got her, her team right back into this game Trace to Yenadesa and it's on Cathy Hill I guess the job option to be a Macaulay Kuchar can you mention the Rangers and I guess Sashina Rash Kuenan Fuchiyisha, <laughs> Manashar against the Darley, Maravash in the Dorcas, Mitchell Rowley Shen with Kuchumara, yes, and Gallagher, Sheen with Stay, and it's a deacon from Lurin Gishu, a crowd chin. Temper's getting a bit frayed over there, Suzanne. Yeah, and you know, Amy Gallagher in particular just needs to be careful. She's you know, on a yellow card. She's on yeah. a yellow card. Yeah, I know, you know, in these games, you know, it is, you know, very heated, and but it's important that you, you know, you keep calm and composed, and, you know, particularly at this stage in the game, you don't want to be losing a player. Yes, uh, well, Amy Gallagher initiated the goal, no fun of the And Murphy Agnew at all through the V8. Jeez, I can know you some Celtic, but I think they shouldn't have put the Gallagher. He's put you in a sash, got it. Dr. Dilly, Balwar. He's from Classic Air, Hosha for a guitar. Fickett Minach, the gold Maha, you know, pushing a Dolko, Lea the Varach. Ross 
Ramos. Don't forget Mark Gallagher McLean. Be tuned like a fella of a more agile, faster way to fly. All the clothes that never fly to a condition. I think we'll have reached the shine of it. The other, the other day is. Shin Karam when you can have father. That a year goes here and not to die. He had a party with us. I guess hips. I guess a huge of shine. Who he do it in face? Get a shot. Be busy on him. Gallagher. Me and the part. Get bowled in the dash. Slinny. Go. And he will on the lineup. Had a good hour to be, you know. Now he's just going to dash his toys. Lee on the match, not even make it up. Listen. Just a couple of little drills, and it's a cool look. But I'm not sure if it's going to be a dash or carrot. So we're going to see a dash, listen. Cornet, big. Short Clifford, via the Agnew Katroy, please via go Gallagher. Oh, please go. I can make a note. Short Clifford, I guess I think it's Jack of his own. He do well. Good to see her back after a year out with yet another ACL injury, Susan. Yeah, you know, she came on at the, the weekend, um, you know, and it was it was really touching to see how her team re teammates reacted to that as well. You know, they all cheered her on the pitch. You know, it's such a difficult injury, um, you know, particularly being away from the, the team for so long. Um, and, you know, she's shown what she can do as well. And, you know, personally for her, I'm, I'm delighted she's back. Got him a show, Celtic one and Oshay. Shen. Gal show. I guess uh, using the Queen's and Hearts for Caitlin Hayes I had the Puktik Suas. I've already the spot finish. Craig Suas, I guess he's shot at the Hayes. The cool bar, Nietzsche, get the shank at that. Nietzsche, the fella can get a Puktik as a voxer. Yes. And I think she's going to get a ball in the shower of Alma's day. New tag. I knew it could be tomorrow. Tito to know Lee Jill at Nicky Doherty. It was a key looking at for a pass. I don't know if you're going to see you again. Okay, so that's going to be a good one. Billy is on Partido, Doherty, Gady as a kill. I guess Barach me on the corner. Shinna Vunyek, I guess Morse and Kavanagh. Lick out Rachel Rowe, I guess Kars Vujela is on Kavanagh. Cards are starting to pile up for Celtic now. <laughs> I was thinking that. Is that what four in the in the referee's four, book? Yeah, Ross, for, for Ross has gone off, but three yeah. players still on the park. Yeah, Gallagher, I mean, Kavanagh and Partido. Yeah, I think Kavanagh's a bit unfortunate there. I think it's you know clever play from from Rachel Rowe, um, but the referees obviously thought you know it was a pretty dangerous position for for Rangers to be in and, and given the yellow card. Snyder got the score up. We've got odd in the park yet. Chase, either fast, get, I guess, uh, Tess, Middag, Dorcas, Shoaini, Darakach, Mazurangi. You get a two church, you get a two, it's a ball like Celtics, and yet, and click it down as Archer Hanatu. It's a ugly ball, get it, I guess, but Suag Vashin, Kutzmach, for Kelly Clark, it is. Arnett, 
honesty. It's going to dash. Roll. Get in the hospital, get back to two villain in the path. Get. Hilly, McCauley, the Mujeri, Dolce, go hardy. I don't know. I guess Jim Room, he ain't so tuned out. She's been fairly quiet in this game, Rio Hardy, but you know when she makes that kind of opening for herself, she is capable of hitting the target. Yeah, I mean, sometimes that, you know, guess when strikers are the most dangerous, you know, when they've been out of the game for, for so long, um, particularly Rio Hardy, we've seen, you know, this so far this season, she doesn't need many opportunities and she works that one really well from herself, but on her left foot just, you know, doesn't find the target on this occasion. Cornet. So it's got Ross Yechevi. Look at cool the line it. The Hardy. Look at cool on the Kasha, but Caitlin Hayes. I think it's the East Chase of Rat. At the Gals, chance that you're cool, isn't it? It's a dangerous game, that. Yeah, and Rangers, you know, thought that was a, a pass back as well. You know, I'm not really sure what Caitlin Hayes is doing there. You know, you've just got to get rid of the danger, particularly when there's so many bodies round about you. Again, that's down to bad decision making. Susan Partido plays that ball first time, Agnew's away. Exactly. You know, just knock it down the line for, for Agnew, or, you know, as, as well, I think she's got to realise Nicola Doherty's on a yellow card as well. You know, I would not be asking her to come inside, I'd be asking her to drive at her and continue to drive at her. Ashworth Clifford in the Duval. And it's on. Now, Amy Shaw, Yarraga, Ash Countess, and Partido is Doherty. Oh, Shaviska. Is that not a pass back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're looking at each other there. I mean, the referee's making a signal, but I don't know what signal he's making because, you know, it's clearly Nicola Doherty straight to our goalkeeper who's, who's caught the ball. Cornet, get in the Prague, I'll get it. Pick and force, don't you? Look at Ackle, like Macaulay. Ach, Chloe Craig, skip the hooks on Celtic. There's a wing at Celtic, come up, Bell, Ali, Duval, Vass, and Kiss the hook, Hoganish and Kuchuk. Ashworth Clifford's around there. Look at the Grangers, Ilari, Deval, Cathy Hill, Aisha, Gamma, Injun, and the Vieskisha, and the Gokalar. Faye in a challenge. like a touch of cramp for Cathy Hill but you know when she goes to ground there's a problem yeah she's not one to to go down easy I'm sure if she can you know shake this off she will she will definitely do so to, to continue Sadiko could the Czech got Caitlin Hayes I think they pick and coach you you know I don't know if I saw a game at the start Cathy Hill the dash with the Casson and with just over 10 minutes to go, Suzanne, it's, it's now, but who wants this most? 
Yeah, it is. Um, you know, they, they, they both know what's at stake. You know, our place in the, the cup final, um, you know, we're, we're finally poised at 1-1. At, at you know, it's been a very different second half. I think we've seen a lot more from from Celtic. Um, you know, and it's a, it's, a, it's a big 10 minutes, as you say. Sarah Ewan said the hine, I guess Richard McLaughlin, I can't hear the goal yet. I guess Jane Ross said the goal yet. Sarah Ewan's another one who's come into form with eight goals, having having got more game time in recent games. Yeah, as you say, you know, Sarah Ewan's is, is someone who's played in the, the Scottish game for a long time. Shot caught him to Rangers. Eight Harakic, I guess the stay. I guess Hatton Hoshoch. Apatil. And the Pippin is all that had the game of him the Magorsch. Rachel Rowe, the issue clear, Groy. I guess the old motion of the Yaragadash. I guess the state can triple it to be for Kirsty McLean and Suzanne for such a young player so much composure and so deadly when she goes into those situations yeah she is you just can't give her that much time and space um, at the edge of the box we've seen it in the first half you know Rangers getting a lot of opportunities and again there you know Celtic almost go to sleep um, from the from the throw in um, you know Kirsty McLean takes a touch and you know an unstoppable shot into the the corner you know Doherty who's done so well for our team so far just can't do anything to stop that Shark at all, you know, they send a Kirsty McLean, I guess, and you shouldn't at all. Had a look at Rangers try it, the course here in the Cooper League, and how up at Uadela. Well, Freker Czech Celtic. At the door to see an Oshia so live clean. Had the Rui Macha Unionist, stick in a Czech minute in Magedic. Cabinet, he had the route to get a crew who he did foul. Ingers weet toch, als ik even ga kijken, pas en ga doen, dus je, we hebben maar geen bezaal. Rangers zijn ze dusje, Flynn is dusje, het tuchtje. Daar is je weer een paard, je genist, je guur, je zijn schuwe like Rangers. Parag mij aan achter ze, Jürgen zit al trouw je. Is dat toch wat hij maakt? Kom, maar de boxer is aan de bal de hoek af. Doherty, hier is de goede tijd om te zoeken. Ik ben niet Patrick, ik moet je maken voor de goed. Shane, Joe Vowell, als je een maak hebt. Je ziet Ashworth Clifford, ik is hier in die Gallagher goed trouwen. Je gaat het dan zeker. The service to Amy Gallagher it really hasn't been there tonight, Suzanne. No, it's not been there. Um, you know, I said at half time, you know, particularly in the first half, she was so isolated. Everything she got, you know, was you know, just a long ball and having to work so hard with, with no teammates and support and you know, anything that, that's came at her tonight has really been something she's had to, to work for. Um, you know, and if Celtic are to, you know, get an equalizer in this game, the delivery and the service to her's got to be better. Nu gas, ik ben dus de goede schermer. Ze lachen niet, ze gaan smaken voor mijn leegem. Ze gaan nog een minuutje, zes minuutjes de machine uit aankijken. Lekker, die gaat door het hele, toch geen goede schermer niet. Kali, and they find a bingy. They can be room again again here. I'm a little tired of Kelly Clark. He can push a few fall up. He's a modern years late. So the issue caught him a show. Kirsty McLean, this is just a game of books. They can be partied if they find the luck not lucky. McLean, he is tight. Arnott, Joker T. I guess I put in the ball. We come on, so we first on the. The this should for you and going to lie. Obviously, with the rain coming on now, Suzanne, Kelsey Doherty couldn't hold that ball, and fortunately for her, Sarah Ewans couldn't get it on target. Yeah, Sarah Ewans, I think it's just came at her, came at her too quickly there, but it was, you know, before that, it's great play from, from Kirsty McLean, so calm and composed on the ball, you know, strong as well to, to hold off the challenges, and, 
creates another opportunity for Rangers. Clear Goldie, Stuny Smith, she near the Celtic Goldie, you could have him the here at Goon and profession to Chidaka J. Doherty, this year, Vedepamach. Shen. This is the issue of the ball, who the dash. Give to Rio Hardy. He's got Kuchakuks in the worst of the Nikal Vaku. Tag, Kutum Kachadora to Vinach, Kajanuk Yoras on Ivdepa Machai. And once again, Suzanne, it looks as though Rangers, having been a goal behind against Celtic, have, have come from behind and have one foot in the final now. Yeah, they do. Um, you know, I don't think it's a, a position, as I say, that they probably expected to to find themselves in after their, their first half performance but you know they've, they've done that you know Cathy Hill getting the, the goal to get the equaliser after giving the penalty away and then you know a, a fantastic strike you must say from Custom McLean which is you know fitting to win any game but I'm sure we'll see a big push from Celtic in these last five minutes or so. Well, Gehechtrell had the Shuna Hill to Kina Kanula in Maravat at the Diedic and it's with Caitlin Hayes to us and Louis of Minich Louis of Arach you just wonder if they'll do what they sometimes do in these kind of situations and push Caitlin Hayes up and yeah. hope she gets one of those famous yeah, extra time say, winners. Yeah, I think it's you know it's it's nearly Caitlin Hayes time, isn't it? It's it's got Celtic out of you know so many holes in the in the past. Um, you know, and, and she is very successful when she when she does play up top, particularly winning those knockdowns. Um, but you know, so far, Elena's not chose to do that. Stuff to be still later. Yalicja, Exadiku. Kevin Lopez, I should be just on. Yeah, and the lava no good ain. With Rangers. Don Salih Kahin, Craig Vieh and the Shunar, who's who has got Gallagher, a mid tag, Gadi as a cue. This ship of Gallagher's had a fine of Hogan, he drops it. And you'll be tall to the Shalai Shahidain, a Nurinji Kusara, see if Kashbuya, manager, they cool the Kuchak me, Holly to the Shinus here. Kirsten McLean. Well, Shaw got him, Shaw got him for a fame at Prague, Ali. Ashworth, Clifford. Coyed Cacheville, Hayes, Gusson, Richard, Balwich and Tarsing of Oaks, Rio Hardy, a fine, Sue Kutsumachet Gata, and so we're into Lizzie Arnott, Kumalistai, Kiet Kafakanish, the Hluchek Celtic, Fiachendi, Fine of Ash Kuernan, Barkley, Juval Tarsing, Hayes, it, Pudahua Sakanoi, Kavanagh, Strees on the Oaks, and Old Kalapanish, Jeb, the Fenachella! Oh, half the finish, hello, Czech at Mittag. This is news, the anima of Jenny Smith and the queen of a Pristig is taking a box. has had a check as a beat, like Sean Murdoch. Bowl the Pristig. Smith, the Fiach in the fire, Nick. I think she gets a touch on that. Yeah, I mean, my first thought was it wasn't a penalty, I think, from the replay. You know, Tessa Midug is very, very unfortunate there. Um, you know, in my opinion, she she wins the ball first, but the referee thinks otherwise. And, you know, we're into the 89th minute and Chloe Craig, what a massive opportunity to get our team back into this this cup uh, semi-final. Well, can you VAR back in the shot? I guess it's I mean, now it's going to be going to get the door. Cormac, Chloe Craig, one of spot finish. Jidach Maravach in his tie as he lay in the rook of the Celtic and Hoshach. Nurin Yid Orchidas Kuenan! Surin! Ease of Jesus! Yanin Oshay! I 
Vegas advantage. We get it. The Green Arbors have had Chloe Craig as Celtic are having a dash to win. And when you have to hand it to Chloe Craig, she's had so much pressure on her. Virtually the last kick of the 90 minutes. And she puts it into the corner. Yeah, it's a very well taken penalty. Much, you know, much better than her first one. Much braver than her first one as well. Um, you know, right into the corner. Um, you know, she's, she stepped up so many times over the years and, you know, two, two penalties for, for Celtic converted and, yeah, what a, what a finish we've got to this 90 minutes of, of semi-final football. Marina Sadiku with a Kassane Duval. Kovac Minic and Tugun Yvarov could be acting as an addiction. Kovac Lugleg again, so Bill Oon, Jan Haast. Not in the future in the Gleg, so Noon Jan Akel. Arnott, Dolchen Alain and Jimmy Kill Barkley. So I'm going to get a for a quick at the GM of whom Kelsey Doherty is there. Jera Begidna, Kovic Minachin. Agnew, she has got Jenny Smith, Baltra, Fiechani, Gallagher of Adria, Goldie, Nia Shasur, the Epic Celtic, and the Shock Cotter Milliga, Nikair, Nick Vorel, H. Caitlin Hayes, the Fuchsdick Suez, and this really now is Caitlin Hayes time. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's really silly from Chelsea corner, you know, I think the Rangers players, you know, are obviously bitterly disappointed with giving away that penalty. You know, but what an opportunity for, for Amy Gallagher to put a you know a delivery into the box and ask her teammates to go and attack it. Paolo Chena State, I guess uh Chelsea Corner Ginema, I think Orson Boaster, the Evan this year, no really Shekha to the Vancha Tarsen. And he's up at ski all the way. And he's just a jack. And you've got to be hanging him the coon and profession to us. And he had to do it. Essen. And he's got to be a mask on a coon. I've been at you in a coon. I've got to go to Shekha. I guess I shot this. You've got Gallagher. Oh, Prachta for the Gies. I think the assistant hesitated there, Suzanne wasn't sure. Yeah, I think she was just coming back from a from an offside position. Um, you know, fortunately for, for Rangers because you know Celtic had an overload there. So this in a half. Spielnick and Samian cook to get out. Trace to line. Achbadri finish at counts but you came at the right shot initially caught him. Fiagnu, Le Cheval will stay. I guess McLaughlin, Vidash, go Essen. I guess Gallagher and Orson will stay. Anamach, it Essen. I just make a fact of each of the shin. I don't think the referee saw that, but that's dangerous from Amy Gallagher, who's on a yellow card following following through with a challenge on Victoria Essen. Yeah, I'd like to see that one again. You know, I think if the assistant referee seen that, you know, he's maybe, maybe letting his, his referee know that's. It's quite dangerous the way she's went in there. I think she's maybe pulled back at the, the last minute, but certainly again, you know, she needs to be very careful. Oh, they finish it to kill Nina Ha! For Caitlin Hayes, the Sash to be in a fan of Gashka. I guess it drops it. Have their finishes on Rangers. I guess had a check on my young shin. I don't think there was any doubt about that. There was a tug back by Hayes on Rio Hardy's Hassan. Yeah, I'm just scratching my head as to why she's done that. You know, surely she's getting a shout from, from Doherty, who's coming out and taking the ball with ease there, to be honest. You know, it's, it's poor decision making from, from Caitlin Hayes. And you know, it gives Rangers the opportunity to to snatch victory in the dying minutes. So this Chakora make real hardy. It's a vintage for Yedig. It's a cold vintage in Tagoon. You've had a fun spot finish. A trace the finish in a game. A here to the Rangers. I guess I got him a real hardy. Rangers are good going to force get him. Each of the Sean Murder had a big match. Anglish Nakogan in Chinonoff. Here he is, Kelsey Doherty. 
And just as Chloe Craig was composed at one end, Rio Hardy does the same, and that surely is the spot kick that puts them in the finals, is that? Yeah, I think it is. Um, I don't think there's any time now for, for Celtic to come back, and as you say, you know, Rio Hardy, such a, a pressure penalty kick, um, but, you know, she's disposed of it, you know, in, in good fashion. Doherty's guessed the right way, um, but just too much on it and, and into the back of the net, and... Surely Rio Hardy sent her team into the, the cup final. I guess a story up for the Dashkan again. Game at the Rav, they finish. Who would skip a Kalina Saduku? Come on, first enough. Could do it at the Dara, but they finish. Ach, Stoch, give it a Koramach, give it Rangers, they finish. Koramach, I in a Kikel Nela. I guess a Rio Hardy, Hafis, either good gonna court get enough. Well, Father can get a shin of Drip Magedig, no, neither of Drip Magedig in a game. A born a minach, a varach in the coach, in the fluke. I've reached the Sul or Chi Lua to the Hali Kalisha game, Kumalata, Clear Goldie, Yakindi, Fuk the Gadurt, Sanu, Karamela, Kru, Huk, the Celtic Rangers, and this Chikiri Bal, the Kumal, Masuriga, E. Duval. He's at the Sul, they pay. Joe Potter, Joe Hakiri in a clicky then, Joe Hakala the socket had in either of that as a horse here on the fashion that is now I'm a rock with the chalk look at good it's in Chiani never hook at all and you stay in the books at the Chiani if you can do good guy no shine and Craig you in Skahumal estate Shen, Chuxu is going here, much less. Goldie. Anthony Murphy Agnew could have fallen. Balloon, Caramel on the Sun Celtic. He's tuned the Gaelic of his games. Caramel out of the box. Smith. Oh, got a shin fat to fall on. Jenny Smith for two million books. I guess Shin A has shattered. Caramel, yeah, the game in and the Huggies. A skipper Joe Potter has a course here and offers an Adara Sace and a Stuart Ekela. Cook big lay at the Nuri, a carum caviach lay a gadish to Bliana. The finish at Rio Hardy, so quick a minute to go in the Varach, but they should do the Galena Sadiku, Sikhiat Game, Akisha, Skun Celtic, a Gazapadakis, Sean Murdoch, Rachel, the three paper penish, Chloe Craig Legayu, a shave the finish at Rio Hardy, so finish for Yedig, a year of a game. A shock in Excelsior and Martri, Clearnica, Celtic Yaga, Rangers the three. Rangers try him a hag on a court, yet in the Hoopa League and SWPL. I guess three prep and penis, quick till Sadarna Leishin, I guess, and skipper, I like Joe Potter, Rio Hardy, and Clicketer, a ring, a Jeffer. I guess, gave him Biaka Drasse, is the game Ian Taka Show, let Suzanne Lappen. Suzanne, what a game, what can you say after that 90 minutes? Yeah, I mean, that that second half in particular, you know, was, was amazing, you know, such a a game for, for Scottish football as well and you know it had everything didn't it and you know Rangers coming out on top in the end and, and into the cup final they go Do you think over the piece Rangers were deserving I mean they were behind, they went ahead it was level again and then a last minute penalty Yeah I think so, I think there, there's no doubt they were the team on top in the, the first half, um, you know we touched on commentary they probably didn't want to find themselves behind in the game but they were behind and you know credit to them you know to, to get themselves in a position to win a penalty in the last minute and you know we're, we're looking at Rio Hardy there and you know what a pressure spot kick but she's she's put her team into the, the cup final. Let's have a look back at the goals the first goal it was Celtic who took the lead it was a penalty Celtic got a penalty and it was you were pretty certain up in commentary with this one. Are you, are you still Cathy Hill with the handball? Yeah, as I say, you know, in, in football these days, you just, you can't lift your hand in the box. You know, it is close proximity. You know, there's not much you can do about it. But as soon as you put your hand up, you give the referee that opportunity to award the spot kick against you. And, you know, Chloe Craig, as we said, dispatches the penalty and puts the team into the lead. 
How do you think Elena Sadiku will be feeling after that? Her, her side overall, how do you feel they've performed? I think she'll be disappointed by the, the, the first half. I think they showed more hunger and desire in the second half. Um, but, you know, you can see, you know, in cup finals, unfortunately, uh, you know, semi-finals, sorry, you know, you need to come out on top, you need to score the goals and you need to get your, your team there and they've came up short tonight. Well, Cathy Hill was the villain at one end of the pitch, but she was at the other end. She did grab her goal, bundled it in eventually. And I suppose that's what that's what good players do. You have to do that in the big moments. Yeah, I mean, it's probably not the, the type of goal we, we expected from Rangers, given the chances they had in the, the, the first half. But as you say, they kept probing. Um, and Cathy Hill, you know, I know it would have meant a lot to her. She'd have been disappointed to have given away that penalty and, and let her side down. But she's managed to be in the right spot, you know, as defenders do when they, they come up for, for set pieces and, and she's managed to get it over the line and into the back of the net. Great spirit, though, from this Rangers side because, like the first game of the season against these two sides back in October, it was Celtic who took the lead, but back came Rangers. It's almost kind of what Celtic were doing to sides over the last few seasons under Fran Alonso. It's an amazing spirit Joe Potter's created here. Yeah, as in, listen, you've got to have that, you know, in, in a season, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a long road, you know, you're not always going to be positive and have it your own way and you've got to show that, that side of you as well and, you know, credit to Rangers, they've, they've done that tonight. They did go ahead then and it was Kirsty McLean, she got the equaliser in the game in October, she scored the second goal here and it was a lovely composed finish. Yeah, it was a composed finish, um, you know, it was it was the sort of play that Rangers were, were doing in the first half and, you know, Kirsty McLean, you just can't give her that, that time and space, you know, inside the, the edge of the penalty box and, you know, Doherty, who I thought had a, a great game for her side all night, she's just got absolutely no chance there and that's, you know, right into the, the corner from McLean and, you know, a great finish to, to give the team the lead. How big a win is this for Rangers that psychologically going into the second half of the season? They've of course they've been un, they're still unbeaten, of course, but um, it, it, it seems a massive moment. We can see the players there celebrating with the fans, celebrating with each other. It seems like a big moment in the season. Yeah, it is a big moment. Um, you know, we touched on at the, the top of the programme. This is the business end of the season. This is where everything matters. You know, Joe Joe Potters came in. You know, she's put a stamp on this team. She's been flawless. She hasn't been beaten. And, you know, but these are the, the nights that matter, you know, against your, your biggest rivals. And, you know, not only getting into a cup final, but Rangers again getting the edge over Celtic. Celtic did come back, though, into the game, equalised. And there wasn't actually much long on the clock. The last five minutes it was of the game. And now, we weren't really <laughs> sure about the first penalty, but what did you make of this? Well, it was Tessel Midak this time taking down Jenny Smith. Yeah, I mean, you know, credit to Jenny Smith for, for you know, chasing that down. But for me, you know, Tessel Midag has to make the challenge. She's got no option, but I actually do think she timed it well. I think the referee got that one wrong. You know, that being said, Chloe Craig again, you know, what credit to her to, to step up under so much pressure. And, and again, she, you know, dispatched the penalty very well. Well, we can now be joined by Rachel Rowe, who is tonight's player of the match. Rachel, thanks so much for joining us here on BBC Alpha. We'll try to get you a microphone in a wee minute, but you can you can share with me just now. Um, well done tonight and 3-2 uh, when your side left it late, but just talk me through your feelings at the moment after winning that game. Yeah, quite an emphatic end to the game, wasn't it? But uh, I think we showed great character, determination. I think sometimes when you're playing games and you're winning quite comfortably from the outside, people don't see the grit and determination we have as a squad. And it's been a difficult week, kind of, with the weather change and the adverse, obviously, training conditions and things like that. But yeah, we've shown such character to come back in that game. And we've got such belief within the group. Um, so there was no doubt in. Wanted to get it done, obviously, within the 90 minutes because nobody wants to go to <laughs> extra time and penalties. So yeah. You know, they had controversial penalties, but um, that's the way the game is sometimes. But yeah, we won the game, and that's what we wanted to come here and do. And what was the the message, Rachel, and the you know from Joe Potter at, at half time? Because I really thought he's he's dominated the first half. I actually thought he were probably better in the first half than, than you were in the second. You really imposed yourself in the game, particularly yourself. So you know what was Joe's message at, at half time? I think it's always the same, isn't it? I think you can not score goals, and people see that kind of, and they're disappointed. But the message was, you know, don't be disappointed with what we've done in the first half. We were doing things and being really successful. We just didn't score, and it was to keep doing that. And they kind of 
kind of changed a little bit towards the end of the second half and we adapted. But um, obviously we reaped the rewards and I think we should have scored a few more. And yeah, arguably they could have had an easy tap in within the first, you know, 15, 20 minutes. But yeah, we came back and at the end of the day we won the game. So. You did win the game indeed. We can have a look back now at the winning goal. And the first question I have for you, were there any doubts when Rio Hardy stepped up? Never. Never any doubts. Just do what you do, Rio. And that's what she does. She's ultimate professional. She's so composed and she's been, you know, she's been vital for us this season so far. And obviously it goes to show today. Getting the winning goal and it's what she deserves. Like she's an unbelievable person and player. How big a win do you feel this is? Because you're unbeaten so far this season. Um, you've not won anything yet. I doubt I need to remind you of that. But this seems a bit of a statement win. Do you feel that within the group, celebrating over there with the players? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's what, our, you know, at the start of the season, we discuss what we want and, and Joe wants us to, to win every game that we step into. And I think there is that ruthless attitude within the group and that just, it doesn't matter what, what we're playing in, the league, the cups. And that's the mentality we have as a group. Being a part of a game like this, so what a fantastic advert for, for Scottish women's football. This is, of course, your first season here in the game, but I'm sure you you seem to enjoy that game out there tonight. I thrive in that situation. I want to play games like that every week. And, you know, we don't get that every week, but this is, these are the types of games that you play football for, for that competitiveness and credit to Celtic. They are the, you know, they've got a tremendous team as well. So they're a credit to the Scottish League as well. Suzanne, just touching more on that as well, a fantastic game. We've certainly enjoyed it, particularly that second half there. How much did you enjoy it? Yeah, I mean, I think for, for Scottish football as a whole, as Rachel touched on, these are the games you want to see. You know, two very competitive teams, you know. I was on the edge of my seat up there watching that. I think, you know, Rachel in particular, I thought, had a, a fantastic game. And, you know, as you touched on, you know, it's all about winning. Um, when you play for Rangers or Celtic, and, you know, what an opportunity they've got in the, the Cup final to go and win the, the first cup of the season. Rachel, of course, you, you can enjoy this one over the weekend. You don't have a game Sunday coming up, but... Uh, I have to ask you, how do you keep this run going? You've been flawless so far this season. What's what? What do you think the manager? Will, uh, what do you think the message will be from Joe Potter? I think we know what she expects, and I think as a group we know the standard that we need to maintain. So I don't think there's any doubt in any of our minds that we can keep this standard. But we will check in with each other if anyone's laxing. That's the kind of honest group that we have, and I think we will call each other. I came up; I was a little bit shot Scottish mentality, Welsh mentality. We are a bit ruthless with each other sometimes if people are slipping, but we haven't had to do that this season so far. So yeah, there's no doubt in my mind we'll keep up this standard, and we demand it from each player. Well, we certainly enjoyed your performance tonight, Danny. You can get back now to the warmth of the changing room, but we do have a Player of the Match awards chosen yeah. by Suzanne. So, Suzanne, yeah, please no, do the really honours. Really well done. I thought you had a great so game, so really well Thank done. You. Well done tonight, Rachel. Thank you very much. Yeah, you will hand it over there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, Rachel. Thank you very much. And um, Suzanne, yeah, just... I think you were certainly impressed with her first half performance, but she's been a really great addition to, to Rangers and the league. Yeah, I think she has. Um, you know, our first half performance was, you know, was exceptional. Um, but I think overall as well, just the impact she's had on the game, you know, some of the, the points she touched on, you know, it reminds me of, you know, a very successful Glasgow City team that I was part of. You know, you do need to call each other out. You do need to set the standards. And, you know, it sounds as if that she's part of a real special group of players. Looking at this Rangers side, we, we, we spoke about, you know, maybe the impact for the rest of the season, but how big a season could this be for Rangers can you can you really see anyone stopping them it's difficult on that you know that form I think you know obviously Celtic pushed them very close tonight but I do think you know Rangers were the, the better of the two sides um, you know Joe Potter you know Rachel touched on she is a winner um, she's not put a foot wrong still you know even after tonight and you know I know she'll be desperate to you know bring silverware to, to the club this competition, of course, we'll see who's in the final along with Rangers. The, the second game is coming up on, on Sunday. Who do you think will... No one will be fancy... <laughs> I, out of Park Thistle and Hibernia, no one will fancy playing this Rangers side at the moment. But is there any way of, of, of stopping them at the moment? I think, you know, as I said at half-time, I think, you know, cup finals are, are one-off games. And I think either the two sides, Hibs or Partick Thistle, whoever gets there, I think they'll, they'll view it as that. You know, they'll give Rangers the respect they deserve, as Rangers will, you know, them. But, you know, I think what we can expect is, you know, a great game a great game on Sunday for the other semi-final and then a great game in the final when it comes around. Well, let's hope it's just as entertaining as this one tonight. But, Suzanne, thanks, as always, for your contribution here tonight. Uh, Kiet Mila Tainga, Suzanne Nagas. Well, so Jalakuk is shot 8th BBC Alpha Partick Thistle, Marab Hashing Idriya Graf, Atna Haikisha Partick Thistle, Givy.
Kiri could falcha eight Hibernian shit Jatoni Sachin Ike Hayes Wood and Face Gun Notion is Ash gonna lead Glasgow City. I guess speaking of Ash, could you call the Celtic shit and now you thought a knock of laugh he could yeah Ike da was face gun. I guess notion cook for Urish and the SPFL da ear who's in the Wraith Rovers Adrianians. I guess Falkirk is the new Saints. Well, Shin Kavor Evoing a show eighth BBC Alpha Aperiche, Agasar Rangers, so who's Yedinli? Aikiva is Tafalisha.